Hi everyone, it's August 3rd, 2010. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. This is actually my second one for today, and uh, the reason I'm doing it is I made a small error this morning, a mistake. Oh, it happens even to schmucks like me. Anyway, I said that uh, marijuana resolve is spearheading the fight to legalize marijuana, and I made an error there. They're spearheading the fight here in Vermont to decriminalize marijuana. It has been made plain to them, to us, to everyone, by our legislators. They're not about to legalize it, but they'll look at the decrim thing. Now, you know, son of a gun. Here we are, it's 2010, and everybody's so polite and nice. I'm not. I'm going to be the schmuck here. You know why they're not going to decriminalize it? Why they're not going to legalize it? There's too damned much money in keeping it illegal. You've got lawyers, prosecutors and defense lawyers who depend on marijuana arrests. You've got judges who depend on marijuana arrests. And let's face it, if you just stopped simple marijuana possession, hell, you could knock off two judges just in Vermont, let alone your big population states. Oh, my. What a horrible thing. A judge in the unemployment line. Why, we can't do that. They've been educated. Don't you know? Why, we owe them something because they went to school. Yeah. And you know what else? There's just far too much money in the alcohol industry and the pharmaceutical industry, i.e. read, bribing your friggin' legislators, paying them off, because, well, hell, if you could grow your own painkiller, you wouldn't need to buy aspirin, would you? Chucky darns, can you imagine? And if you do a doobie, chances are you're not doing a shot. Well, there's a lot of tax revenue would be gone. You see, you're affecting a whole lot of bottom lines. But once again, being the schmuck I am, I'm going to tell you the truth. Something that's very rarely done these days. I don't have exact figures. And there's a lot of smart people out there. Challenge them. I do. Regularly. Figure out the costs of interdiction, adjudication, and incarceration. And I'll bet you those costs far and, ex far and away exceed your revenue streams from your fines and your seizures. So wouldn't it make sense, real sense here, take the first step, yes, decriminalize, but keep an eye on the future at legalize because I'm telling you flat out it's really you know oh my word can you imagine a, a whole country as big as the United States suddenly saying oh gosh I guess we made a mistake way back there in 1939 let's correct a mistake here it's God's way of saying she's sorry have a nice day. Because again, when you take up the costs of this, the legal costs, the fees, the fines, the lives ruined, and you add in the judges, the cops, the lawyers, all of those costs, I'm real willing to bet you're spending a whole hell of a lot of money on something that you shouldn't be. It's it's just like that, those stupid wars, and I talked about them too this morning, in Iraq and Afghanistan, it's money just going away. But there are a few people who get very wealthy out of it, and we shouldn't ever stop them from getting wealthy and powerful and influential. Yeah, right. I lived in Texas for a few years, folks. 
Here's a phrase that keeps coming back. I've used it many times before. I'm going to use it one more time here today. I'll probably use it again, but, you know, hey, just for today, you know what this is? El Toro Poo Poo. Like I said, I'm sorry about my mistake. Marijuana Resolve is leading, spearheading the charge to decriminalize. I'm hoping that someday we're all adult enough and, you know, smart enough to say, gee golly, guess some people way back in 1939 made a mistake. We can correct it. We should correct it. We can't go back and unruin the lives that were ruined. But come on now, folks. Think about it. Even George Washington, you know, the father of our country, in one of his diaries wrote, I can't go to sleep at night without my bowl of hemp. Golly gee. And we all respect Washington, right? Think about it. Really, think about it. I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's the Schmuck look. Peace, everyone. <laughs>